Hey. Listen, I'm writing this book about Dresden. I'd like some help remembering stuff. I wonder if I could come down and we could drink and talk and remember. Um... I think the climax of the book should be the execution of poor old Edgar Derby. The irony is so great. A whole city gets burned down and thousands of people are killed. And then this one American full soldier is arrested in the ruins for taking a teapot. He's given a regular trial and shot by a firing squad. What do you think? Uh, that's your trade, not mine. All that's happening you now, more or less. One guy I knew really was shot in Dresden for taking a teapot that wasn't his. So it goes. It was during my sophomore year at the University of Chicago when I was drafted. I was only 20 years old. We were flown to the outskirts of Germany where I was captured and put in a slaughterhouse. Months later, after America won the war, we were flown back to a rest camp in France where we were fed until we were all covered with baby fat. Then we were sent home and I married a pretty girl who was covered with baby fat too. And then we had babies. They're all grown up now, and now that I'm an old fart, I decided to make a movie about the destruction of Dresden. I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't. Not many words about Dresden came to my mind. That was when I decided to ask my old war buddy, Bernardo O'Hare, if I could come to see him. I thought that he would be able to help me remember events from a movie. He was unenthusiastic, but I went anyways. So then I understood. It was war that made her so angry. She didn't want her babies, or anybody else's babies, killed in wars. She was afraid that I would use my movie to glorify the war in a way that would mask the fatal effect it had on children. And that's what I decided to call it, the Children's Crusade. The, the irony is so great. What are you doing? Yeah, Sean? Keep yeah, the doing, irony is so great. Yeah. The irony is great. Oh. She's laughing! <laughs> Sure this is the last one I'm gonna mess up anymore. All right. The irony is so great. The whole city gets burned down and thousands of people are killed. Oh, shit. God damn it. Where you go, Sean? Yeah. God. Wonderful. And then, 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 then. Wait, then you no, see no, my hand. Okay, fine. Put the paper in front of it. Okay.